I'm Ina Fried with CNET. I'm here at the Techonomy Conference in Lake Tahoe with Venkatesh Prasad, who's a senior technical leader at Ford. Um, obviously, people don't always associate technology and cars, but that's really started to shift. You talk about the idea of the car as platform. What does that really mean? Well, this is really fascinating for us. The car as a platform means you can now, in some sense, make that available for all the creative folks around the world to create applications to bring value to the car. And really, we can start looking at the car as a, an entity that brings sensors and actuators together to start sensing the road, sensing the planet in some sense, and, and really working with other cars networked in many different ways. Uh, the car really is a component in a much larger system of systems that ties into the roadway system, into other modalities of transportation, into cities, into big cities, into cities that talk to other cities. So as you look at that, you're really looking for applications that get the internet working for you while you drive. Today, the internet, for the most part, doesn't work for you when you drive. You sort of are at A when you get to B. You sort of wait to do something when you get to B. And this is really looking at the platform as, looking at the car as a platform enables the internet to work for you while you're on the road. It allows the creation of applications through multiple sources, multiple <coughs> teams, it allows the mashup of data that's sitting in the car, the mashup of data that's sitting out in the clouds, um, and, and really, uh, and the delivery of services to the driver, to the passengers. So it's really uh, a, a way of making your journey more productive, more, more fun, and, and really, at the, at the end of it all, um, more useful, if you will. And how long is it going to be before we all really have the internet everywhere in our car? I mean, we have our phones, which has the capacity to get to the internet, but right now, as you say, that internet is usually off, and it's certainly not system-wide within the car. Right. So I've actually said this before, but you know, the, the internet really has been tuned to zero miles an hour. What we want to do is really tune the internet speeds to driving speeds. That process is just beginning to happen, where you can now make phone calls and place calls and get calls safely. Uh, but you can actually look at a whole lot of services coming to you, services that really happen and, and take care of getting more done while you drive, not getting you to do more as a driver but really working for you. So while you get to your destination, you have a whole set of services that have really worked for you, whether it's finding the best restaurant and parking associated with that, or taking care of reservations for, for journeys elsewhere, or taking care of uh, getting you some, some suggestions to how you might want to modify your house and, and essentially presenting that to you as a radio station, as a radio channel, um, happening in the cloud, happening through the device you bring in, and really happening through the presentation that's built into the vehicle. One of the notions that we've heard at this conference is the idea that the car should also be part of the electrical grid. It, you know, shouldn't cars be this uh, storage of electricity that when the grid needs it can give it back? What, is, what do you think about that notion? Well, it's really, as I said, the car is a component in a much larger system of systems. And this system of systems includes the energy system, if you will. Uh, where energy gets created, energy gets stored, distributed, and the car is an integral part of that whole big system of systems, if you will. So you look at it in a very large sense, there's V to X that's happening, there's X to V that's happening, where V is the vehicle, of course, and X could be anything. It could be the grid, it could be a cell phone, it could be the cloud, and all that is really coming together with, with systemic architectures that are enabling the mashup of data and the presentation of data to you as the driver or, or you as the passenger, if you will. Great. Well, thank you so much. Uh, you. I look forward to talking more. Venkatesh Prasad, who's a senior technical leader at Ford. I'm Ina Freed for CNET. Thank you much.